fruit puree up to the boil. Bring it, the toffee up to 118 degrees. So what we, I'm just mixing a little bit of corn flour with water. So you just dissolve your sugar to prepare your souffle bowl. You just brush it lightly with some butter, a little bit of sugar. And you just roll that around. So basically we bring this to the boil, just let it go to a, a gentle simmer. So you pour your liquid toffee into your fruit base. So we've got our corn flour here. Thank you. Basically pour a little bit of the fruit base into the corn flour. Mm. So we pour that in there. And then we bring this to the boil and we boil it for approximately three or four minutes. That's just boiled for about three or four minutes there. So cook the cornstarch out. So that's your fruit base. So we just put a, I'll just do a double volume. But fruit puree in your bowl. Just quickly whisk your egg whites. So got our mix there. Add a bit of egg white. So just line our mould. So tap that down to get rid of it, any excess air. And then we just level it off. Now we bake this in an oven at 200 degrees. And it takes about anywhere between six and eight minutes. Every oven's different. What we do with this, we serve the souffle in a little copper pot. <clears throat> we have a little copper pot of sauce and a bowl of creme chantilly on the side. We always serve um, our souffles with creme chantilly. I'm sure you all know, know what that is. Basically, we use a fresh um, vanilla bean. We scrape the paste out, nice running cream, icing sugar, whip it up so it's a firmish, softish consistency and that's what we garnish the souffle with. Just give that a dusting with icing sugar that sieves a bit too. Uh... The waiter will come out with the sauce on the side and it'll just make an incision, pour the passion fruit sauce in. Mm -hmm.